What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're out here and I'm strictly gonna try to fish with a micro Ned. I've not used them yet, but I already know that micro baits have been working well for me with the, the smallies in the river here. So that's what we're gonna stay dedicated to today and see what we can get into. So far, pretty good results. Anyway, like I said, thank you for clicking this video. Please like, please subscribe. Let's get fishing. All right, good morning, everyone. So today, we're gonna chuck around a micro Ned here. I've not used this, but if you guys know me, I love finesse, I love micro. They seem to always produce bites, even big ones too. So we're gonna give this a whirl. Fishing this on BFS gear. Shimano Scorpion BFS, medium St. Croix. A little backstory, I was out here yesterday fishing, fishing a giant Helgramite. I actually lost a really big one right here. We got good fishing conditions, a little overcast. It's gonna rain or drizzle on and off today. So hopefully these smallies are out moving around. I try to get out on this tree cast out that way should be able to at least find one today oh man all right well we had a minor setback with that massive backlash but got re-spooled had to go buy some new braid but we're back out here again still throwing the micro net around Oh, just had a nibble right there. I felt like one pecked at it. About to find out. And I don't know how it wouldn't swallow the whole thing as tiny as this is. Oh, I just missed one. How did we miss him? I feel like a good fish too. Get it back out there. How do we miss them, dude? Oh, that's how. Those are definitely some teeth marks. Whatever that was, that was a good fish, though. Could feel the weight for a second. It's starting to sprinkle a little bit. So, I might get these fish moving. Or it might just get us wet and we still won't catch anything. <laughs> Only one way to find out. There's one. Sweet, we're not getting skunked today. Not a bad one. mud here there we go first one on the little micro ned there all right thanks for getting a skunk off of our back bud oh these hooks are sharp there we go one last look at this guy let him go see if we can find one a little bit bigger Rain's kind of slowing down, but now the wind's picking up, so it got cold again. And that wind is cold. There's one. Oh, just felt a slight tap. I love the sensitivity with braid and a good rod, too. Man, this one's fighting like crazy. Doesn't feel big. Uh, a little bit. Got a little bit of chunk to him. Yeah, he does. It's not 
Not a bad one. Oh man, he's getting bigger as he's getting closer. There we go. Stay petting bug. Yeah, that's a good one there. There we go. That's a quality one there, a little bit bigger than the first one we caught. Sweet. Pop that out. Oh yeah, that's a good one. All right, let's let this girl go, see if we can find some more before we freaking shiver to death. Thanks for biting, bud. You can't dispute even these little neds. They catch decent fish. All right, we're gonna make a couple more casts here. And we're gonna try another spot. By the way, I believe this is a 1 15th ounce weighted ned head. When that one bit, I definitely had some slack in my line from the wind blowing, but I could still feel that little bit of a tick coming through to my rod. That's another one. I just had it picked up. Nice. They are feisty today. They have some energy. This one's not as big as the first one, but it's still a good one. Sweet. At least we're getting on them now. Seems like every time the weather goes to crap, the fish get active. Nice. Thanks for biting, bud. All right, last cast here, and we're gonna get out of the wind. Sorry about the audio if the audio is bad. Right, I had to come back out here where I missed that one that cut my plastic, whatever it was. I'm assuming it was a musky. Let's see if it replenished and see if there's anything here right now. It's the thing with some of these spots, you'll go to them and fish them, you won't catch anything. I said I don't live too far away, so I can just go, run some errands, do my thing give it a couple hours and come back and try again. Sometimes you'll find them then. I feel like that's honestly probably with anywhere. Fish aren't always there. And if they're there, you're gonna know it. If they're not there, you're also gonna know it. It's just good to just get out, get fishing and give it a try. Slip a little bit. Oh man, that is a monster. Wow, oh, stop jumping. Wow, this is a good one. Stay pinned. Don't come off. Wow. So glad I came back out here and tried again. Oh, come here, bud. Wow. Look at this tank. Crap, look at that one. Wow, that is a massive smallie. That is awesome. I said, little micro. Micros don't just catch small ones. I can't say that enough. Look at that one. Wow. Look at a length with this one too. And a weight. Wow, look at that fish. Pre-spawn, feeding up. It's coming in at 19. You know, I am so glad I tried back down here. I was just gonna skip it. At four pounds, four one. That is awesome. 
one last look at this girl let her go let her grow wow thank you for biting just an absolute beast of fish it's crazy and it was jumping too that water is cold but it was still getting some air thank you ducks i appreciate it man fishing can be tough sometimes yesterday i lost a giant today i lost that one but we kept at it we're finding them we're getting on some good ones just goes to show don't give up you can get discouraged but just get your head back in the game keep on fishing we have another spot to try let's see what happens all right back where it all started this morning let's see if we can end this video with a banger i make sure I don't get caught up on a limb behind me again. Get a backlash. I think geese are so loud. Really? That's a wrap. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did.